Welcome parents to our first study skills session. This session is focused on mind maps in terms of why mind maps are important when studying and from the information that you're given, hopefully you'll be then able to support your child, son or daughter, when it comes to studying for their exam. So, first of all, mind maps. Why are they important? They're important because they help you in terms of being able to review, organise, and also remember key parts or key information in terms of your subject area. There's also a link on the PowerPoint here which can take you to an online tool for mind maps. So rather than using pieces of paper, you could organise your mind map on an instrument sheet or on an iPad. So, first of all, mind maps can be used from a variety of subjects. It doesn't have to be specific to, for example, PE. It can be biology can be history, it can be English. The important thing here is that the central theme to a mind map is a topic that goes in the middle and then there are branches out of the mind map that allow you to remember key information relating to So, mind maps in PE. So, right now I've given out our pupils a piece of paper that had an answer for a PE question you get asked in your exam. I have now ask the pupils to try and memorise it, so you can do this at home by taking a screenshot of the piece of paper just now. So, the first thing you do is important, in the circle, in the middle, you're going to put the topic to which you are trying to study for, and this topic is data collection. So, stick in, in the middle of your mind map, a circle, a square, a triangle, whatever shape you want, data collection. And that is going to be your central theme, that is our central topic that you're trying to study for. So out with that topic, you are then going to look at that answer, which is split into four. So there are four key points to that answer, which are also on the board as well. These are the four topics. So if I'm doing that mind map, I would then take a branch, four separate branches, and put the key topic relating to data collection. So the four reasons why you collect that. Right, now you've got four key reasons why you collect data. It is now up to you to try and remember these using the sheet of paper. Okay, so every sheet of paper that you've got, there are four reasons. You've got them in your mind map there. You're now going to put another couple of branches next to that reason using the information on your sheet of paper. Okay, so for example, the first one might be it is easy to understand and complete. You're going to look at that answer and you're going to pick out the key bits of information from that answer that will help you to remember how to write that in an exam. Okay, and then you're going to do that for the next one, the next one, and then the next one. So you'll have four reasons and you'll have another couple of branches within that reason the key bits of information. So the mind maps that you guys have produced should be something similar to my one made earlier. So the four key topics around here that relate to data collection and then something next to these topics that would allow you to understand and know the answer. So I went for easy to understand and complete because you shade it in red and green and then that means that you're less likely to make any mistakes. So that is the way in which I would go about each subtopic, okay? And then it's a case of me writing out this mind map again and then being able to answer the question come the exam. 